subscribe now. EU debates. As we said many times, uh, our constant engagement with our partners around the world uh, when it comes to uh, Russian aggression against Ukraine is also focused on calling on them to either align with our existing sanctions, which we introduce uh, against the regime in the Kremlin for its uh, activities and for its aggression against Ukrainian people and Ukraine as a country. So we are calling on them to introduce, to align with our sanctions, or if they can't for whatever reason, then take similar national measures. And if they can't or don't want to, then at least to do their utmost in order to prevent the circum circumvention of uh, our existing sanctions. So this is what we are conveying to our partners, be it Iran, be it Turkey, be it anyone else. And we are watching very closely how the countries are behaving in this, because what we are trying to convey as well, by attacking Ukraine, Putin attacked the international rules-based order, the principles to which all these countries signed up to, international law, sovereignty of countries, independence of countries. So by helping him to circumvent the sanctions imposed for him violating all these principles, including UN Charter, they are supporting this regime in conducting this illegal, unjustified, terrible war. So we are engaging, we are conveying this message to the partners, and I think there is no place better to reinforce this message as is the UN General Assembly this week in New York. Thank you very much.